Hello, Adele here, and today I'm doing part one of overcoming fear of public speaking. Uh, do you need to speak about your business and get, get your message out there and spread the word about your products and services? Um, so you probably you know, need to do presentations, you need to speak about your business online, even on a telephone call or live webinars, Facebook Lives, um, something like this. Um, and you have got that fear and anxiety. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. And I'm going to break this down into three parts. So today is, is, I'm just breaking down all about the language um, around fear. And then I've got two other parts to um, for you as well. So in combination, this is a fantastic recipe. If you put these three strategies together, um, you'll be well on the way to overcoming your fear and uh, of public speaking and getting your message about your products and services and what you do and provide for people out there. So so that people can find you. So the majority of businesses um, um, in one way or other are quite scared of doing sort of live videos um, or webinars or presentations. Um, I don't know anybody that hasn't had those fears really um, globally um, and getting that up on, spe uh, you know, on stage and speaking. And it's that fear of rejection, isn't it? I mean, I was I was hesitant in the first place and, and didn't want to get myself out there. Um, and I've I've had um, a long history of of setting up businesses and owning businesses for for over fifteen years. And before that, I was project manager. So now I'm a network marketer entrepreneur and have a, uh, this business here where I'm running an Airbnb and two other businesses as well. So um, I've been through from going you know a high flyer to having nothing and penniless and I can tell you now that getting getting myself up and moving again and exposing my work warts and all it's a scary position to be in and you've got to overcome certain personal blocks so today is is that fear really around public speaking uh, how on earth are you going to promote your business if you can't get your message out there to customers who want what you have got for them. Um, as, and as I say, it's really hard to sort of look at that, um, um, where those fears come from, but that's where I want to sort of pinpoint today, is, is um, looking at the talk that we, the, the language that we use ourselves around sort of fear itself, and looking at our emotions. Um, when, once we know where that comes from, and we acknowledge that actually we can change that the language that, that is coming into our head straight away into something more positive, then we you know we can adjust that um, severity of, of the effects on our body because once our mind starts thinking um, that you're in fear mode, your body then sends out chemical reactions, doesn't it? And you get nervous and you start sweating and you start thinking, you know, even if you, if you start thinking the worst, don't you? And um, even before you even you put pen to paper in preparing your notes to, to sort of speak, or even picking up the telephone can, can produce these um, powerful feelings. So um, I, I really, really am being honest with you today. Once you've overcome this and put these strategies together back to back, you will feel the magic and it will happen for you. Um, I don't mean forcing yourself out there and, and uh, in the hope that you'll desensitize yourself. That's not the way forward at all. Um, so here are a few strategies um, to work on for you. I'm going to talk about it here about today um, about the language and changing the label of what's happening in our heads. Um, so it's changing how you feel um, to being less severe and less daunting um, and it's not about forcing yourself to embrace what, what you're going to embark on when talking face to face with someone or online or whatever. Okay, so let's think about that. Look at the language you're using around your, you know, what's coming up into your head and your thoughts. What's popping up into your head when you go and, you know, go and start to pick up that phone to someone and, and talk online or you go and do um, a presentation or live or any audience out there that's going to hear you. 
So we need to be looking at ourselves first and listening to the dialogue in our heads. Um, stuff like, I'm not good enough. I haven't got anything to say to anyone. No one's going to watch me. I'm useless. I can't do this. So we end up shying away from it and doing everything else possible. Yeah. And avoiding avoiding what we're supposed to do, you know, getting ourselves out there and speaking. And this reinforces the feelings that we're feeling. So the next time we go and do that, we feel exactly the same. We're not breaking that cycle. Um, so it's going to be the wor worst next time and so on and so on and so on. So what happens if we actually physically stop ourselves at that point and, and change the language and say something else, something less severe to ourselves that enables us to actually take that step forward? Um, and what is actually going on in our bodies? Because once that, that, that thought that, that thought is, is there, then our adrenaline starts flushing around our bodies and it makes us feel sick and we, we start to kind of run away from the situation. I say you go and do something else and you and then you feel terrified and you won't approach it again. So this is what I'm saying. We need to and butterflies, you know, all sorts of things go on. You, you can tell me all the symptoms that you feel when, when you know your mind goes blank because you haven't got enough oxygen going around because you're in this fear state i mean even actors and performers um uh at some point feel like this and they have professional trainers to guide them through these strategies to overcome their fears and put themselves out there so we need to be feeling better about our thoughts and change the language that we use so when you say that you're terrified of doing this um, it's not actually true. That's a, it's kind of the the, the, the the severeness of how how what you're reinforcing to yourself. Um, it's a bit over the top. I'm putting I'm putting it frankly to you. It is, isn't it? You're not in danger. Your life's not threatened. A bear isn't chasing you. If a bear was chasing you, then you'd be absolutely terrified. And those are the work that the language that you need to be aware of. Um, and you will run like mad from that. So I want to just it just completely ban extreme words and I don't mean that we we go to the other extreme the polarized extreme of like um one extreme is you know this terrified and the other stream is oh, I'm gonna love this yeah I'm not talking about that I'm saying something in the middle so that we we're enabling ourselves to overcome that in a more gentle way so things like I'm feeling a little bit anxious about this um I'm prepared for it, um, I'm anxious, it will lessen the effects of the body and it will lessen the thoughts running away from you by actually controlling your own, the severity of the words that you're using around what you're doing because you have the capacity to, to learn these skills and take on board these skills and practice these skills and overcome that fear of public speaking. Let me tell you that uh, I have as well um, in, in various situations, even like uh, even um, doing a meetup with one person um, and it depends on your personal circumstances and what you're going through and how confident you are to, to do those things as our mood is you know is 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 so influential so we place we're replacing those extreme words with with uh, ones that are going to reinforce to us that um, we are able to uh, move into that uncomfortable situation and look at it in a healthier way a bit like you know when you go on a diet um, a fast is too extreme that's not going to be sustainable but uh, more healthy options of doing something is, is long you know is, is a long-term um, sustainable solution so break it down uh, into a less set, um, stressful situation and and once you kind of say well actually yeah I'm a little bit anxious but I'm gonna do this and then the next then you do that your presentation you, you do your live you do your webinar you do your practice you pick up that phone and then when you come off the phone focus again on how you're feeling that actually you have achieved that and you reinforce to yourself that yes I managed that and next time I might be able to say this and I might be able to do that do you see where I'm going it's like you're doing the reinforcing yourself by taking control of your thoughts so gradually you you will change the language in your head and you'll you'll go and you'll you you will eventually after practice you'll start to enjoy interacting and communicating more with people and there's nothing wrong with feeling excited um, um, at all about um, having butterflies and your adrenaline and um, 
Uh, it's good for performance. And um, uh, there are other times also that we, f we feel symptoms like this. Um, um, you know, uh, exactly the same as the fear symptoms, but when, when we're feeling, you know, in love or uh, we go and do an extreme sport, um, um, I don't know, parachute jump or whatever, uh, we feel exactly the same physical symptoms in our body. And um, so a little bit of it is encouraging. And um, I think now, you know, when, when I, I think about how before, when I was thinking, oh, dreading going and doing something like this, now that excited element comes across in my communication. It enables people to want to listen to you a little bit more rather than sitting back and, and, and being like, you know, you, you, you can feel somebody's um, state of mind and how they're feeling, and that comes across even on, behind a screen, yeah? So, and I'll talk more about that in the, in the other two parts as well. So uh, that, that's the first strategy, is, is uh, sort of looking at the language that you're using around the words that are popping up into your head and less, making them gen more gentle words. So it enables you to take that step forward and be more confident and, you know, enables you to learn that actually you do have the abilities to step forward and, 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 um, and, and go out there and speak. Okay, so um, come back and have a look at part two and three and together put these together in your own time and practice. Um, I, um, it's fantastic to come out here and, and give you the, this, this, these little strategies um, because the, this will go a long way in, in terms of getting your message out to your business and, um, and getting the results that you want without your words and not just in 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 written form, uh, getting out there, people can learn to trust you and get to know you um, by communicating in the right way. All right, whether that's on on the phone or online or, or presentation in, in the audience or whatever. So, yeah, good luck with that for now, and uh, I wish you all the success and see you in part two and three. Bye bye now.